Rezan, you're watching to invest or not. Just a heads up, this is not financial advice, but only suggestions for further research. Let's get straight to it. In this edition, we're going to take a look at three iGaming or eSports betting companies with potential. Let's start off with a Vancouver-based company that goes by the name Game On Entertainment Technologies, ticker symbol GET.C, and what they do is provide broadcasters, TV networks, streaming platforms, leagues, tournaments, sportsbooks, and NFT projects with white-label prediction games, fantasy games, and NFT-based games. These prediction games let fans connect, compete, be social, and get rewarded during every moment of their favorite sports, TV shows, and live events. So basically, everything gets gamified. Now you can check out our full analysis on Game On provided in the link below where we briefly go over how their tech works. So how do these guys make money? Well, Get.C makes money through the licenses they provide their clients to use their tech, and Game On gets recurring fees in return. Game On has secured revenue-generating partnerships with global companies including NBC Universal, Bravo, and MX Player. Their projections put them something above $20 million by 2025, and this is based on a low cash burn in the process. Having only just recently listed on the CSE back in June, there's very little price action. Its price has been ranging from 25 to 35 cents. If they get the best deals and have their tech being used in almost every entertainment sector we know, then we could consider this price tag as a good entry point. But don't forget to always do your own research. Next up is Fans Unite, a sports and entertainment company that focuses on technology related to regulated and lawful online sports betting, casino, and other related products. They offer B2C social betting where their members can place their virtual bets in a large online community. McBookie Sportsbook and Vamos GG are currently using Fans Unite's B2C platform, but they also offer B2B backend solutions, allowing other businesses wanting to utilize their platform for their own betting business through Chameleon and Ascot Games. Fans Unite say they're platforms have had 350 million Canadian dollars of betting volumes since inception and 300,000 plus registered members. They have licenses to operate in Canada, the US, Malta and the UK, which was added to their list on August the 5th. It's a pretty good catch though for Fans United since the UK is one of the world's largest online betting markets, with the UK gambling industry generating a gross gambling yield of £14.26 billion from 2019 to 2020. But overall, global online sports betting is expected to grow into a $100 billion industry by 2025. Where are they in the CSE? Well, just around the 50 cent mark, which would be a great opportunity if you're bullish and think they could reach their all-time high of $2.37 once again somewhere in the near future. Now, the last one is a tech company that provides high performance and computing solutions for low latency applications, including video games and esports, digital animation, and visual effects. They are called Apt Ventures. And with their high performance computing centers that blend the convenience of cloud computing and having actual physical computing centers positioned closer together, clients can get services like Apt Cloud Plus and Apt Multi CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Distribution Network. They also provide clients with bare metal servers, which are basically physical computer servers that are used by one consumer only. This is called Amped Metal, and it's supposed to provide users with high quality performance and security. They also have Amped Storage, which offers clients high-end, mid-tier, and archival storage solutions on a cost-effective, pay-as-you-go basis. Everything they offer is tailored to consumer needs, rather than getting a one-size-fits-all solution. And the solutions they offer are dubbed Amped Remote Render, Amped Studio, Amped Virtual Studio, Amped Virtual production and amped game hosting. And you can get all the in-depth info on these on their website. Now, the company is forecasting a large increase in revenue for 2020 and 2023. Now, they've partnered up with big names like NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, HP, and Dell, just to name a few. And all the sectors they are targeting, like video games, esports, and visual effects, are growing industries. And these megatrends demand new standards of computing power. AMPD.C is at roughly 40 cents in the Canadian Securities Exchange, but what price tag do you think their stocks will have if, let's say, something like the Metaverse Mania really takes off? There you have it, guys and gals, millennials and madmen. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, and let me know what you think in the comments section below. See you next time.